Okay, the date is Monday, April 19th, 101. I'm well, on my way to go and get some Taco Bell, just a couple, couple of beef quesaritas. Just not the best thing to be having with it. Figured <coughs> I might as well enjoy it while I can. <laughs> Whatever techno that was. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah. Figured and think again I might as well just enjoy it while I can. And quite possibly today or Friday or so. Can um have a um discussion with young yeah. <clears throat> and I'll see it probably either today or Friday or something. Depends on his availability. I'm gonna um, if I'm gonna make Japan a reality, I'm gonna have to make this the last convo with Young Yeah. I've had one before. The one that's gonna happen this week. I basically gave him an outline on the game and what it's gonna be, generally speaking. It's almost far in conceptualization. I hope to have it out of conceptualization once. I have at least some scripting done. <coughs> I have uh, some of the, um, I do have the, um, mechanics, at least for the most part, worked out. Some of the locales I got. <coughs> One of the uh, locales is going to be fairly late in the game is going to be Something akin to like a death sentence or the worst of the worst of criminals because you know murders, rapists, you know, what have you. <coughs> Basically, the way this thing is carried out is they just get tossed in the mountain, and the mountain itself ha would have this mystic energy that's surrounding the mountain that scrambles the mind. Basically. Making it impossible for them to figure their way out. And they end up dying of starvation or thirst. Because there's nothing in the mountain that you can eat or drink. And with your mind scrambled in the first place. <coughs> I've had someone suggest that maybe, maybe the um, enemies within the mountain itself should be the... Um, those who were sentenced to um, die in the mountains. Which was a brilliant idea. Just have some assassins and stuff like that. These are just the standard enemies within the mountain itself. So, perfect idea. It does help add to the lore in the other world. You know, just works, works out that way. Very beautifully. <coughs> Another locale is well, obviously the um, <coughs> obviously the villains have to have a base of operations. So there's that as well. <coughs> the villains are a group called the Osmium. And they do plan on well, taking over the world by capturing the four treasures around the world. There's one in each of the corner directions. The west, east, south, and north. That's not going to be the order in which you travel to each of these locations, but that's the general idea. West, east, north, and south. Made, made sense. <coughs> Wait, I figure <coughs> the earth element would be in the uh, the west. The um, water element would be in the um, north. The fire element would be in the south. And the wind element would be in the east. It makes, it makes the most sense to me, personally. Because, yeah. <coughs> 
the fire element being down south because you know going down the hill and then going south plus down is basically the way you would go to fall the hill so I thought that made sense there Is the water element being associated with the north because it tends to get cold up there. And from what I noticed, ice and water tend to be the same elements. So there's my reasoning for that. <coughs> wind being from the um the east as that sent that tends to be where the um wind comes from generally. And it that's not always the case, but that's the old thing. So, there's not really much reasoning besides that. Not that there really needs to be reasoning to begin with, but that's just my rationale. <coughs> and that's where the, uh, the west having earth is just there. Because it's just there. I didn't really have a reason for everything in the West, apart from that's the only thing left. <clears throat> yeah, kind of like Professor Utonium, like, like Europe, so you're blossom. Oh, you're King Bubbly, so it bubbles. And uh, you're Buttercup, because it also starts with me. <laughs> Not really good rationale. Very good comparison either. But it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. So yeah, there's <clears throat> there's that. Oh yeah, I kinda kinda cut off topic a bit. And trying to mention why it's gonna be my last cover with um Young yeah for a while because the way that he handles things it's mainly for his Patreon supporters. If I'm gonna make Japan a reality, I have to temporarily cut the support for a while. As that's that things gonna do so but gotta do what a man's gotta do what a man's gonna do, right? And shelling out hundred dollars a month. That's gonna put a huge wrench in that plan since, well, I'm on a very limited budget. I mean, I'm lucky I got this camera out for Christ's sake. But, yeah. I don't plan on making this a daily thing. Just kinda. A weekly basis, if something comes up or something new, I guess I'll say it. And because I got this camera, this will be then <coughs> the new update video. As lazy as it is, since it's just an unedited video being uploaded. Hi, Future Goss here. That statement was a bit inaccurate. There was a bit of editing, as you can tell. Not much editing, mind you, but still some editing nonetheless. That is all. I just wanted to make a quick correction. I just end by that being lazy, but that's just the way things are, I guess. Just how it is. No, I will admit, I have been kind of lazy with things, not to mention... I haven't been filling up to doing videos. Some personal IRR. IRR. IRL shit going on. But, yeah. I do promise to rectify that, though. I will be doing regular updates, regular videos. As regular as I can, because I've got a move coming up, and I need to be ready for that. So... As regular as regular can be, 
All the moves in process. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm in Japan is make a video like saying, hey, I made it. Because of course I did. But, I think I said pretty much everything I wanted to say on the way to Taco Bell. So, I will see you guys there. Okay, so we're not quite at um, Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah I, I got a surprise lift. Yeah, I threw the shit out of myself yesterday. So Careful what you're saying, recording. Uh, so I was driving yesterday with uh, Jeremiah because uh, we went to Dollar Tree. And for some reason, my brakes and my pedal locked. And my truck was accelerating and I was went in oncoming traffic. So I had to dislodge my key of my ignition <laughs> and I had to pull over. It scared the hell out of me. So, hey, my truck doesn't have problems. I drove with, just for, uh, to let people know, don't drive with sandals if you're new to driving. It's, uh, yeah, I have a Ford, so my pedals and my brakes are a lot more close together than a, than a Chevy. Well, it's a good thing I don't wear sandals anyway. I don't wear sandals, I was too lazy to get my shoes on. <clears throat> on this, the camera that I'm using right now, it works amazingly. The sound on the microphone is beautiful and everything. The speaker on the um, camera is dog shit. When did, you, when did you get this? About a day or so ago. Nice. So uh, in June, I'm getting my. I'm gonna be moving in with my girlfriend. When I came down from Utah. Nice. She's coming down here. She wants to move here. She likes it here. I don't know why she likes it here. I hate it here, but now she's moving here. I'm gonna stay in town. Yeah, next nothing to do, but. Hey, at least you have purpose. I got my license. I'm still looking for work, sadly. I'm actually going to pick up my friend Kate today at 3. She's going to add to my pickup for gas. She either buys me something or she pay, or she uh, gives me gas money, which is super useful. Or super helpful. Sorry. Yeah. Helpful. Useful. Of work. I want that car so bad. I'm thinking about talking to Cal and what she's selling it for. Oh, you selling it? Yeah, it's a Toyota Casolica GT. It's, it's a stick shift. I'm gonna probably uh, sell this thing and get that, but I also gotta talk to my girlfriend about that. It's in it's an adult relationship, not a high school relationship. It's different from me and Devin and my first adult relationship. Yeah, you may want to keep details on that on the hush hush. Because yeah. No, I'm liking it. I'm liking driving, it's fun. I went to like the other day by myself, so that was fun. Yeah, I'm still fighting with the DMV to get my license. Do you have your permit yet? One step at a time. You should renew your permit, and then I'll let you drive around. <coughs> I hate this turn. Oh, they're... I'm, no, I'm still fighting with them because of the whole turrets bullshit. Oh, yeah, they won't let you drive. Your camera slid over, dude. Yeah. yeah. I did not mean to. Yeah, that, that turns... So, did you know they're rebuilding this road up here? Yeah, I've kind of seen that a few times. And yep, that's something that's been going on recently. It's just, I've been fighting with DMV over the whole Tourette's bullshit to even so much as get a license. The question is, I don't think you have any, do you? No. Have any? There, you don't have I think you should do is, uh, and there goes my hearing. Hooray! Inconsistency! Yeah. Future Klaus yet again. Um, I don't know what happened here, but my camera stopped recording. I guess I hit a button without even realizing it. So, yeah. That's kind of why there's that arbitrary cut there. He and I were zeroing in on that point where there's road construction, he points it out, so I turn the camera to kind of show there was. And that happens right around here. Right I turn the camera I mean. You should um you should show uh for the doctors and take that to the DMV show we don't have any <coughs> the 
and they're not allowed to deny you anymore because that's against the law. Yeah, that's what I've been doing a few times. And last time I've been to the neurologist, it was. All I got was, well, there was nothing in your records. Which couldn't have said that over the phone. Yeah, we can do the drive there. Yeah, my AC works good though, doesn't it? It does. My gas gauge is so weird. Dude, this morning it was empty, <laughs> and now it's back up to quarter tank, and then it went to half a tank. Like, what is going on with my truck, man? Maybe it's a little slow in the uptake. My gas gauge is really messed up. It's a 95, it's, it's old school, so. It's an old school truck, so. I could have gone anything I wanted to. I just didn't feel comfortable darting out. Ooh, look at that Bel Air. The sexy part. And you're a jackass. You can go. You're over there. I hate parking on speed bumps. That's one thing I'm not looking forward to when it comes to driving is dealing with these idiot drivers. That's easy. I'm not sure what's going on. Gather lines tend to be long. Yeah, but there's no car right here. Oh, you mean that gap? Yeah. Yeah, there's an unusually long gap in the drive. <laughs> unusually large gap? Don't worry, we realize it soon enough. Drive through line. Do you want the subway yesterday? Oh my god, that line was long. Dude, the line was like outside of the store. Yikes! I was like, fuck this, I'll go like. <laughs> That's insane. I wanna, I wanna, I'm not gonna win out one there. You know, there's a certain person that works there, I, I want nothing to do with. I'll just get about that later. I literally have like trouble sleeping. Like last, <laughs> last night, I took two Benadryl, did not have an effect on me. Took NyQuil, didn't have any effect on me. So I stood up all night long, and then finally I passed out this morning, slept all the way until like, and my stepbrother woke me up because I had to take him to school. And then after that, I ended up going home. I like fell asleep instantly as soon as my head hit the pillow. And at 12.45, I have Jeremiah my blowing my phone up and say, hey, you've got to pick me up from school. I'm just like, shit, I'm on my way. <laughs> and then as soon as, I get, as soon as I'm getting ready to go back to bed, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're going to do an resume today? I'm just like, oh. Oh, do not block me, and that's why. I don't care. Cue the... Some word. Robin? You still play Pokemon Go? <sighs> you still play Pokemon Go? Mmm, <clears throat> not very often, but occasionally, yeah. Dude, so my newest shiny that I got. This one. That's what you receive. My newest shiny. I have, these are all my shinies. I think my, my favorite shiny is this one. Nice, the subtitle. Yeah, dude. And then I got a, my highest CP Pokemon is Dragonite. For those who don't know, um, Pokemon Go speak, CP is combat power. Yeah. There's actually a few right here. I'll catch dude. I'm not kidding you. So I woke up, like literally my first day on Pokemon Go, right? First Pokemon of the day, and got a shiny Fletching. You know the you know the the little Pokemon bird called Fletching. Like yeah. I think it's a normal and a flying type at first, <coughs> and when you get to the final evolution, which I think it's called Talon Flame, it's pretty sick. I've yeah, been, Talon Flame. That sounds about right. Yeah, I've been using a lot in my battle rates. It, it's pretty <coughs> good. I guess you could say it's pretty fire. 
It was wasn't cringeworthy, it was amazing. <laughs> I actually thought that went up, man. So, my dad almost bought me a 2011 Fred Kia. You know what, just a little hell of it. Ian, you should recognize this. I'm going to have to put on my oh, fucking up the car. double seeing glasses because I can't even begin to see the amount of passion coming from you. Yeah, he's Jacksepticeye, yeah. yeah. I heard he's moving. I don't really watch him very much. I watch, like, <laughs> I watch King George, <coughs> uh, Markiplier, a little bit of Sugar Conroy here and there. Dude. I've been get, I've been trying to get into it. Uh, I've been watching some other, like... His, la his latest LP might be a little intimidating to actually follow. Yeah. And then I've been watching uh, some of my friends' YouTube channels, and then... Of course, there's my YouTube channel. I don't really stream very much anymore. I need to follow up on my streaming schedule as well. I actually need to get a schedule established. Uh, I did have a schedule for a while. It was, uh, uh, I was doing like Friday, so I was doing Friday, sorry, I was doing Mondays. Wednesdays and Fridays and then <laughs> Saturdays I did 16 hour long streams but um, someone came in my uh, stream and like made a good point like I shouldn't stream so much like especially 16 hours uh, do like edit clips and stuff like that at first so you get recognized then start streaming so right now I'm just doing clips and actually so far I've been getting probably from a thousand to three thousand views on each video I do so I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing I'm not making money off of it I don't want to I just want to do it just for YouTube. <clears throat> it's pretty unlikely you're going to be making YouTube money off of YouTube anyway because YouTube has been de-ranking independent creators. That's why. Oh, I'm... and lately, this is going to piss you off, but YouTube has been caught removing likes from independent creators as well. That's crazy. All right, uh, I'll look forward. I don't know what you're getting. And just a couple of I got the helmet as a replacement for a mask. Norwich. I know, but I just don't know where my Norwich one went. Just put this one on. I have my Leaf Village one. I, don't know. I also have an Itachi one with Itachi on it. I got That's it a it. fisherman's bubble. Yeah, it's a Uchiha clan. And then I have Itachi's. When I was uh, in Eureka for a vacation, uh, I got a new mask. I said I said this on the um the vlog earlier, but <clears throat> the first thing I'm doing in Japan is recording a vlog. Damn, it's not a shiny Eevee. I've been meaning to get a shiny Eevee lately. And because well, I cut ahead from the ordering process, I got a couple beef quesadillas. And if thank him for giving me a lift, yeah, I'm giving him. I'm I'm giving him one of those two case readers. Yo, I will do do me a huge favor. I will trade my Rayquaza if you get if you trade your Groot your Groot on. I have a Rayquaza. I also have, or I can give you a shiny Zapdos, which I no longer have anymore apparently. <laughs> yeah, trade me something you don't have. Fuck! You know what I did? No, I have Pokemon Home, right? I transferred my shiny Zapdos. <laughs> I can never get that back. If you had Pokemon Sword, you can get it out. Yeah, but I don't have. I do on your Switch. No. Wait, no, no, we're, we're good. I'm more found so it. he has a save file on my Switch. Alright, found it, found it. <laughs> we're good. False alarm. <laughs> I was getting ready to cry, man. That was like one of my favorite shinies. One, right. problem one of my problems with Pokemon Home is you can get Pokemon from Go to Home, just not from Home to Go. Essentially, well, your mons are being held hostage unless you can pay a premium a month. All right, what shiny do you want? You want a Rayquaza? Do you want a uh, Oho, Arcatino? I have one. Arcatino? Yeah. It's Articuno. Oh, Articuno, sorry. And it's Ho-Oh. Oh. Oh, Ho-Oh. Uh, -ho okay. Uh, the 
but that might go. For a minute, I thought we were gonna get stuck in fucking reverse or in a uh, park. I just wanna. My girlfriend's got a shiny grout on. Hey, what do you have that I can want? Those are all my I was at T Butterfly Mike right on. What are those endures do you have? Is that that's it. Just the guard on. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take her one of those endure. I gotta I got a gr a grout on raid uh tomorrow I'm gonna be doing. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna go home and go back to sleep. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. See, I'm, I did get a, um, a bigger Mac for ST for the Switch. For whatever reason, after um, wiping the 64 gig one you, too, clean, I couldn't, for whatever reason, I couldn't use it on the camera. Sometimes my uh, my left side my, on my uh, my blinker, I have to hold it down because it doesn't stick like it's supposed to. The signal doesn't exactly work. This is gonna be a weird turn. I hate this turn. Wish people were nice and just wait for me. Nice. Yeah. Either um, today or Friday, I'm going to have a um, conversation with Young Yak. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's a YouTuber who does gay, all things gay oh, news, no reviews, and discussions. I can't do left turns. <laughs> Derp. <clears throat> I think this vlog has been going on long enough, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this town. You and me both. Yeah, anything you want to say to the viewers? Uh, don't do drugs. <laughs> Good advice. Definitely don't do drugs. Uh, don't kill people unless I deserve it. I would say don't kill people, period. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So like I said, uh, Definitely, uh, can I, uh, can you give me a shout out on my YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, actually. Where can they find you? So, my YouTube channel is called Grommy underscore 116. Grommy spelled capitalized G, lowercase R O M I underscore 116. I stream Rainbow Six Siege. I'm a video editor. Uh, I do stupid shit on YouTube, so definitely uh, tune in on those. Um,. So when you when you uh, look at my channel and you look at my newest stream, which probably me today, I uh, I have a new gamer tag. It's actually called Rats a Lot One One Six because my friend calls me a rat. I don't know what this guy's doing in front of me. I get called a rat because I'll tell you guys why I've been called a rat. So a few months ago, a few weeks ago, I was playing on my secondary account. Uh, I was playing as a Rooney, and of course I was using EBR because I'm a rat like that. Really fast. So, what I did that I was funny. Uh, I did your blinker so long. So I decide. So I decide. So my brother's playing with calf. He interrogated someone, and I saw Nomad's feet in uh, uh, in a drone hole. So I ratted my way over there and shot and killed Nomad through a drone hole. Two days later after that, after I got my account back after being suspended because I called someone a retard, apparently that's a suspendable offense, I decide to rat my way through a window and end up killing three people off the of spawn. Then I end up acing because I was riding on the floor, crawling like a little rat looking for cheese. 
So I pretty much was riding on the fore end of killing everyone. And yeah, pretty much that's how I got the nickname Ratsalot. So my gamer tag is now Ratsalot. Funny thing about cheese actually, in um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Crash Bandicoot Warp specifically, there's this little place where you can hang where the um, lions can't get you in the Tiny the Tiger boss fight. Yeah, if you exploit that, the crowd will throw keys at you. Oh, well, that's awesome. Because you're teasing the boss fight. Uh, I get it. I, I miss Crash Bandicoot, man. I haven't played this since on the PS1. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of um, stupid shit like, on YouTube, we still gotta be doing videos. Yeah. Um, well, I'll be available next week, or I'll be available uh, tomorrow after I'm done helping you work out though. Well, I guess tomorrow, looking forward to that. Those videos. Actually, I don't think I'm doing it tomorrow. No, I'm not doing it tomorrow because Grandma and Grandpa are going to go get the vaccine again. Well. So, yeah, I'll be done hanging out for a little bit tomorrow. Hi. Right. I'll show you what I'm doing tomorrow. What time is it? I can't check my phone. And that's military. It time. is. Well, it's a 24 hour format. 2 p.m. Okay, cool. I gotta drop you off. Uh, I gotta go pick up Kate from work. Well, that being said, thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you later. That's awesome. I like that. Let's go over to your remote. Let's go.